Hey everybody, it's John DePietro, and even though it's going to be 65 degrees today at the end of August, a fireplace in New England always reminds us of the season coming ahead, and we are at Forest Marine. We are in the beautiful town of Tingsboro, and I'm talking with the corporate president right here. President, what do you think? What do you think? Okay, that's right. That's good. Okay. Anybody else I can talk to here? Okay, I'll talk to Bruce Flanders. Sir, John, good morning, sir. Welcome uh, to your dealership. Thanks for coming. So, you know what, family dealership, why don't we begin by uh, telling us what other family members you have here. John, next to me I have my beautiful wife, Susan. Hello. Um, been together for 25 years. Great. Um, she is the, look at, wait, uh, wait, she's looking at you like she, Bruce, she gave you a look. Almost 26. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which means don't forget the, the date. Don't forget the <laughs> date. The date. Um, and then next to her is my son, Derek. Good morning. Derek. And we have one of the dominoes right here. That's yes, Dega. that's Dega. Talladega. Dega. Talladega. Is that where the name comes from? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you yeah. ever been there? No. Never. Oh, you got to go. You got to yeah. go. Don't take the dog because, you know. If you tr like chasing cars, those cars do. About she doesn't chase. No, much. she doesn't. Okay. She's not a chaser. Oh no, but she has been to a couple all-you-can-eat buffets, right? <laughs> and spent overtime. <laughs> so you know what? This is a um, pretty uh, successful RV dealership. But when you walk in, it, it's got more like the feeling of a lodge yeah. in uh, Vermont or New Hampshire. It's like a time warp thing. So um, oh, there. Look at there's our corporate sign. Mm -hmm. So. What's the deal with the fireplace, the dog, and uh, the environment? Here? It's it's family, John. It's who we are. Um, it's it's the way we run our business. Um, we are a family-owned dealer. Um, been in the business myself here over 30 years. Um, we want to represent wholesomeness, um, family, camping. It's fun stuff, and that's what we want to portray. That's who we are. Okay. You mentioned earlier when we were chatting. Um, not only have you been doing this for a long time, but your family has an interesting background in the RV business. Tell, tell me about that. My dad and grandfather, um, uh, from the seacoast originally, lived on the seacoast of New Hampshire. That's where I was born and raised. Um, my grandfather and dad um, built travel trailers in the early 60s to late 70s. And company. really the, the infancy. Yeah. Of the RVs um, as we know them today. A company called Seabreeze Trailers. Yep. These um, are not kind of stogo wagons you're talking about. Uh, no, these no. are good okay. old camping trailers. Uh, my, uh, my, my grandfather was great with woodwork, carpentry. Uh, my grandfather was a great Finnish carpenter. Uh, very, very quality minded. Um, my father, on the other hand, was more of the rough carpenter. He would do the framework and he would weld the frames and do the axles. And then it put my grandfather on the inside and do the finished stuff. Right. And I know you've mentioned that you've even had uh, customers come by and look for parts. <laughs> we do. For those, huh? <laughs> we do. We have. A, we mention sea breeze trailers, and you'll have some guys come out and say, "Geez, I had one, and I can I get a pot for the ice box?" It's like, a, uh, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> but um, it's good to talk to them. It's good, you know. They remember. Um, after the uh, after the camping trailers, they also got into the concession business, and we built concession trailers for county fairs and country uh, okay. fairs. And step right up, step fry right dough up. and yeah, French fries. Dogs. Absolutely, did it all. Okay, so Sue, what is your responsibility here in business? Let's see. Outside I... of you, really run the show. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I'll try to downplay it a little. Downplay no, it a little. I, uh, <laughs> Not I too much. I do the bookkeeping mainly now. Okay. And still oversee the financing and the title work. So you like keep that, the boys in line. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Derek, you're out, you're the back guy. I am the back guy. So, I'm tr you know what? People are going to wonder. There's an arrow on that on that <laughs> oh. There's got to be a story behind that. There is. Yeah. Um, what, as many as, as my people... ADD kicks in and I see something in the <laughs> yeah. background. As many of our customers will attest, they know Russell. Russell is one of my service techs. He's my all-around guy boy, here. Patient. Anything above 72 degrees, Russell turns kind of cranky. Um, so that's so he just puts that there for Ed to remind everybody that if it's above 72, leave Russell alone. Okay, so we're okay for a few today months. We're all well, yeah, we're good. He's okay, off. Does today, he change? So oh, he's off. He's okay, off so we don't have to worry Russell, about that. Right, yeah. Okay, so tell us where we're located, and uh, people can stop up all day because you. Uh, you know, the purpose of this whole weekend is kind of like get rid of some yeah, meet and greet inventory. And this is who we are, and uh, we are right off uh, Route 3, right in the Tingsboro, Massachusetts, right on the New Hampshire border. 
Um, we border uh, the city of Nashua. We're about uh, 20 minutes from Manchester, New Hampshire, about 45 minutes west of Boston. Um, exit 36 right off of Route 3. Um, and you know what? It does sound somewhat complicated, but I left Worcester, and it said 40 minutes. Yeah. It's and, I mean, that was 47 miles ago. Yeah. And I got here so quick, I had to go to a McDonald's and have two more McMuffins <laughs> and, you know, the buy one, get two, two free deals. No hash browns? No hash browns. Yeah. So, um, it's really easy. 495 is, is well, great. 495, and Route 3. 3. Uh, 128 um, from the north, 93, um, down through Manchester, uh, down the Ebbett Turnpike, and uh, you, you, right across from the Pheasant Lane Mall in Nashville, New Hampshire. Okay. So, we'll be back. We'll be here all morning. And after this, we're going to talk about um, Jayco yep. and only Jayco and why. Okay. Only Jayco. So, from Forest RV. Should I say Marine too? You can say whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> we'll be back in a half hour. Have a great day, folks.